Hi everybody and welcome back to Best Friends Who. Who's ill again? Ill and frail, feckle, I need somebody to look after me and love me. Oh. Well, you can get your mum to do that. My well, mum's in Dubai, your actually. Mother, mate. Huh? I'm not your mother. Yeah, I know that. You haven't looked after me. You've just. I have left been me looked after you. I have looked after you. You looked after me and then I looked after you. It's been a circle of life these past. What? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. Oh, the mold has got to me. See, look, day two of me being ill. Get out of the room. Hmm? Get out of the bedroom. <laughs> I need it. When you were ill, I'll sleep on the sofa. Darling. No, you said, oh, I don't want to get ill. I've got things to do. I'm not being near you. I'm sleeping on the sofa. At first, you said, you sleep on the sofa. And I said, get fucked. Am I sleeping on the sofa? What do you mean? Why should I have to sleep on the sofa? I'm ill. You get the whole front room then? You get to, you get to have the kitchen? No, you no, get to have no, no. the TV? No. Oh, I'm what a criminal I am. And I'm a meanie pants too. You are. I'm not a mean. You guys have been commenting down below and in, in DM saying that I'm mean. Yes, because you what? speak to me like one of the boys, and I think you forget sometimes that I'm your girlfriend. And you say you speak to you me like I'm word, a boy. Like you say the word like C U C U N T to me. Uh, we were filming an ad last night, and James called me a dumb C next Tuesday. Yeah, as a joke, and because your breath stank. <laughs> Our breath stank so badly, guys, last night. It was actually revolting. Yeah, because we got a salad from Subway, which was your idea, by the way. And it comes with red onions. And It doesn't. You chose them. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to have onions in my salad. That's fine. But your breath stank. Yeah, Either so way. did yours. You don't see me complaining. No, my breath did not stank. Yeah, it did. No. You had the same thing. And the reason why I called her a dumb see you next Tuesday is because she goes, I was getting the ad wrong. She goes, it's just, I told you what to say. All you got to say is just just say, just. this is what you have to say. It's, it's when you Just say what you normally say and just say it like how you say it. Just say it like that. Yeah, because you were panicking. Bruv, what does that mean? <laughs> yes, but you were panicking me. It's like I can't get my words out because I'm scared of what you're going to say next. I'm scared? What's with these harsh words? What am I going to do? Just lose my shit. But I was chilling. Why did the comments say you're mean? I don't know. It, it just, didn't just, specify. Just one girl just DM'd the best friends who account just saying, James is mean. Oh. Well, correct. I was tempted to reply back saying, you fucking bitch. You bet I'm mean. You bet I'm the worst man ever. Now fuck off. James is nice, but also mean at the same time. I'm not mean. You're mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you call me brav. But that's not mean. Yeah, that's my feelings and it feels what? mean because you don't love me. What, you I see you me bro. as a bro. You call me bro. Yeah, but you are my bro. Oh, so what's the problem here then? Because I see you as a bro. I love <laughs> my bros. But you don't love your bros. You don't even have any bros. <laughs> you have that? no boyfriends. Boyfriends. I know. Yeah, so how can you say, oh, right, bruv? You don't know what so that I means. I call my friends bruv. So I'm just like your friend? Yeah, just like I'm your bro. Yeah, but I don't call my friends bro. So you're just chatting absolutely No, it's waffle. like a nickname for you. No, it's not. It is. It's not. Do you know what bruv stands for? What? Big ripple under vagina. Uh, <laughs> under vagina? Yeah, so you've got ripple, big fat ripples under your vagina. Like <laughs> a ripple. What is going through your head? Do you know that bit between your you're arsehole still and your vagina? That little bit of a gooch you've got. You've got it. It ripples. <laughs> One thick ripple. No, I haven't. Yeah. Don't it's not, say it's not that. Fucking, fucking touching it, bruv. You're like, no, I haven't. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, um, what's new with you? With us, what is new? Well, what day is it today? Sunday. When the podcast goes out. Monday. The what? The 24th. <laughs> Bro. What? Not at all. Is it not? <laughs> we haven't got a podcast coming out tomorrow. Oh, shit, yeah. It's the week after. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been your birthday. Hey! Yay! Wow, someone really remembers my birthday and cares about me. 24! Yeah, 24 years old on Sunday. So when when this goes live on Monday, I've been 24 for a day. I'm probably hungover. And frontal lobe is soon to be developed. Yeah, One no, yeah. more year. Yeah, I don't think men get frontal lobes. 
Uh, to be fair, that does make sense. I, I feel like men never I don't think men don't just develop. I think women get frontal lobes. Right. Your frontal lobe looks like it's developed. <laughs> what? Well, because I've got a big forehead. Yeah, it's like bulged forward. I've had that since birth. That you was prick. a joke. I didn't even know you had that. What? <laughs> the bulging forehead. I've always had a bulging forehead. No, you haven't. Turn to the side. God damn. It's this here. It's like such oh, a thick, look. like bone. It's actually quite true. Yeah. I never noticed that before. I think. Bro, it's did you head burst it as a kid? No, but I fell off my scooter and I got a huge egg here, so maybe it just never actually left. Yeah, yeah. Egg head. Says you. Says what? Got a fucking tic tac head. What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. My you look like a tic tac. My head's way bigger than yours. Yeah. That's that's class, mate. You look like a tic tac. Well, egg head. Not because a tic tac. You've actually small. got an egg head. You have the shape of a tic tac. Oh really? Head. Let's have a look. That's not even true. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it's not. What is it then? I don't know, like a, a diamond. A diamond? No, like, it's just like a bit boxy and nice and contoured. Oh, I feel like yours is just like one shape. Oh, thanks. So what do yours. you think mine is? It's a Malteser. <laughs> it's round. You think I've got a round face? Yeah, just spherical. There's no edges. There's no sharp lines. Just mm. one big, <laughs> big ball of Play-Doh. Do you find me attractive? Why are we being so mean to, to each exactly. other? Exactly. The, the mean... We had a delivery come when yeah. we tried to film this intro the first time. And, it, and it's a parcel. It's my birthday. It's not because I've it already is. got your present, mate. So. No, you bought me some Zara trousers. <laughs> no, I bought myself a sequin skirt. Bet. Open it up. I actually would. Okay, I actually I would. You. I believe you. But I did guess that Why you would a birthday. Why would I buy you Zara trousers? Because I like Zara. Yeah, but what trousers am I getting you for? I don't know. That's why it's not. It's a no, birthday bro. surprise. No. What'd you buy I told you, you're getting coal. Why am I getting coal? Because. Because what? You're a meanie. You're a meanie. You're a meanie. And you didn't get coal for your birthday. And James keeps saying, I'm going to have the worst birthday ever. I'm going to have the oh, worst. Oh, fucking it's gonna be leave the worst. it out. Okay, so I'll give you the worst birthday oh, ever then, mate, if that's what you want so much. I hate birthdays, man. There's pressure. It's, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Why do I have to plan my own birthdays? Why do I have to plan my own birthdays Because now? you're an adult. Because you're about to be 24. Then why do I fucking let anybody plan anything for me then? Why don't I just plan everything and just have no surprises? I planned my fucking birthday. You don't see me complaining. Because you really wanted it's to go to a life. specific place. It's a way of life. That's how things happen in I the I want world. surprises. I want surprises. Really? It can't be a surprise if I plan my own fucking surprise. I can't say I want a surprise birthday party because it ain't a surprise birthday party. But nobody's throwing me a surprise birthday party unless I say, can I have a surprise birthday party? I haven't got a that... surprise birthday party ever either. But you You've know, never you, thrown me one. Yeah, but you never insinuate you want one. So you're not meant to say. No, but you just said, maybe like last year, you'd be like, oh, fucking, wouldn't it be so sick to have like, oh, look, look at that on the, on the movies. Someone's having a surprise birthday party. That'd be fucking sick. We don't live in movies. We live in the real world. No, when you world. watch a movie and you, you go, oh, that jobs. will be cool. Sadly, it's just not on the My cards. birthday's on a fucking Sunday, mate. We, no one work is Saturday. Nobody's work is so Saturday. I was supposed to plan you a birthday. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Get all my friends together. Yeah, you were. You told me you didn't even want to see your friends. I don't mind that seeing my what friends. That is what has come out your mouth. So you're confusing me, bruv. I don't, I don't mind seeing my friends. I, I do want to see my friends, but maybe not my actual birthday. Hmm? On... Not on my actual birthday. Right. Well, the football's on, so you ain't getting a surprise birthday. Yeah, cheers. Fucking cheers, Euros. <laughs> Ruining my fucking birthday. Well, in other news, guess what I did, guys? Nothing. Let's I move on. I booked a solo trip without you. I'm in a stinking mood. <laughs> I'm in a stinking mood. <laughs> Why? Your birthday's going to be great, James. Well, how long is it? How, how many days is my birthday? A week. Oh, a week till today. Seven days. Brilliant. Exciting. Need to get um, in shape. But yeah, last episode, I said to you guys how I really want to travel. And I would solo travel, but I'm just too terrified. So, a couple nights ago, I was in like this spontaneous mood. And I was like, do you know what? Let me just book Copenhagen because I've been wanting to go to Copenhagen. James went earlier this year and said it was really nice. And apparently it's the safest place to go um, on a woman's solo trip. So I'm going to Copenhagen. 
That's going to be really cool. It's only for three nights, so it's not too long. I won't get too scared. And I'm staying in this really cool hotel. The pool looks like it's in Bali. It's really cool. Did I show you it? Yeah, show me it. Yeah, it looks really good. I think it'd be nice. I mean, I think about Copenhagen, it's just it's just so, so fucking expensive. Like, so... I'm, but I know you got money, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But well, that's fine with me, babes. Yeah, I know you got money. So, like, <laughs> I'm really excited for my birthday present. <laughs> like, I'm really, because I saw how much you spent on that hotel for three nights, yeah? So, like, my, my birthday present better be at least like that. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that was a self care. This is going to be a self care trip. I okay, how about your boyfriend money? that's been with you for like nearly four years who's cared for you every day? <laughs> how much does that cost? Because surely that's more than a three night in Copenhagen. <laughs> You're such a little shit. Or like maybe you're just doing all of this because I have actually have got a surprise birthday party. You haven't. No, I bet I don't. <laughs> I swear. To no, I s- yeah. Oh god, I'd hate that shit. Do I have to leave on Sunday or something? Do I have to like go to the car for like, an <laughs> hour? I'd hate that. I'd oh, hate that. Bless you. But on a real, three days out, in Copenhagen. Kind of best fucking time. Maybe for your twenty fifth, you'll get a surprise. Oh, that's not a surprise now because I fucking know. I think 25th, big birthday, front or lobe, possibly develop. We don't know if men get that, but... Yeah, but now I know that this is going to be a surprise. Yeah, so but you might not... forget in a year's I time. Won't. That no, I'm going to be well excited about it now. Okay, well, there we go then. Well, and then you fucking ruined it. No, Brother, I haven't. you can't say to me, maybe when you're 25, you get a surprise birthday party. I'm going to be like, oh my God, I'm get a surprise birthday party. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually getting a surprise birthday party. I was not surprised, it's just a birthday party. <laughs> but you're going to pretend Yeah, but surprise. I might, might be like, no, that's not happening anymore. Yeah, but then I'm so, but not going to believe you now. Well, what the fuck do you want just from me? Just don't fucking say anything and just do it. Okay, okay. How about that? Okay, how about that? You want what, 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 but you don't do any any of that. You don't do any of that for other people. What? What? What have you ever done anything surpri- remotely surprising for me? Since you love surprises. I never said you love surprises. Yeah, but surely you'd want to do that for someone. Not if they don't want it. Yeah, so? Yeah, so I know how to surprise that you're, you. Yeah, you're but su- you've never done that. No, not yet. I haven't, no. I don't even have any half your friends communication-wise. You didn't have half your friends on Instagram. Well, that's rude. It's not rude. They don't follow me. No, I actually do follow all of them. Yeah. But it took me a while to get to that point. Oh. <laughs> it took me ages. Oh, really? And I think I had to follow first. So? Well, they didn't want to follow me, did they? James, shut the fuck up. What the fuck is going I on here? I don't follow all your friends, and they don't follow me. Why not? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, well, tell it. I'm not asking. bothered. You're not bothered? But like, you being my friend's friends? No, I'm not. Social media isn't real. Then what are we doing here, then? I don't know. Speaking of social media, I feel like people are too chronically online at the moment. Says you. Yeah, I am chronically Sorry, I'm on- really coming for you this, this podcast, yeah. bro. Look, I'm, I'm chronically online, but I keep my opinions to myself. I think people are getting a bit out of hand now. You tell them. Because the things... I don't even like scrolling on TikTok. It used to be my favourite thing. I don't like it anymore because it's just all so negative And it's people like trying to catch people out. People saying that this girl um, like unalived her cat and it's just like all this random shit and now she's getting death threats telling to go kill herself and stuff and it's just like I think you, don't, you don't actually know her like social media isn't real like i think people are forgetting that it's real life and yeah. social media is two completely different things and what are we gonna do about it i don't know but yeah. it's really getting to me I'm come like, on people need to actually get like, rolled up grass. get rolled up <laughs> what are we gonna do don't leave me hanging here. Speak to the CEO of TikTok. <laughs> and I'm now soft. <laughs> Let's speak to the CEO of TikTok. Yes. He was in Cannes, you know. Cannes. You have met him. Cannes. Is it's it Cannes? Cannes? Are you sure it's called Cannes? It's called Cannes. Are you sure? Yeah. I can bet money on it. It's That's fine. People in the comments, let me know. Cannes. Oh, I went to Cannes the other day. And I went to the film festival of Cannes. Yeah. It's not Cannes. It's not Cannes. Cannes. I thought it was Cannes, but it's Cannes. So it's not Cannes or Cannes. No, it's Cannes. So it's Cannes. Or Cannes. Cannes, no darling. Can. Huh? No, a Khan. I'm a Khan. No, a Khan. No, a Khan. Oh, uh-huh. yes. My hearing isn't that great at the moment. You say? <laughs> can we go back to your solo trip? Yeah, back to the solo trip. That is honestly amazing. It's going to cost you a fucking fortune. 
uh, but you can have a sick time. And I didn't really experience Copenhagen properly because Frank was on like a tour bus or whatever. Yeah. And like meeting some like crazy celebrities and that. The thing, <laughs> but, the like, thing is, know. like, I know that I would have more fun possibly with someone there because... Um, I would hope so. <laughs> no, like, because I love travelling with you and I love travelling with my friends and it's like, you can do more things. And also, small things like, who the fuck's going to take my Instagram photos? Do you know what I mean? How am I going to oh, fu- deal no, with that? You're now making me feel anxious about you I'm going to have to take a tripod and be one of those, but... No, because what you're going to do, you're going to ask a stranger. Can you take a photo? Sexy Copenhagen, man. What do you ask? I'll do that Apparently, you. like, everyone there is really good. Oh, yeah. Tell like, me about it. Boys oh, and fucking, girls. Yeah. Really? Yeah, mate. They were, like, jumping on me and shit. They were like, oh, James. Oh, oh yeah. And I was like, get off me. Fuck off. Oh, and they were just big, blonde, boobied head women. I was like, oh, fuck. Get off. Please. We all know that never happened, James. No, because they were actually ginger. I don't think ginger people exist. <laughs> <There. Ever. laughs> That's a myth. No, if like you in see Copenhagen. A ginger person, it's, it's AI. I feel like only blonde people exist in places like that. No. I've never seen a ginger Copenhagen. <laughs> You've never been to back. <laughs> I've never seen a ginger. A, a, a ginger Scandi girl. Okay, where is Copenhagen? Denmark. Oh, okay. So Danish. Yeah, but it's Scandinavia. That's a whole place, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. So why are you acting? <laughs> so you've never seen don't... any ginger Scandinavian girl? No, I haven't. I have. Oh, really? I had my penis the other day. Oh, shut the <laughs> fuck up. You're so rude. You actually are so disrespectful. You think this is acceptable? Guys, calm down my you think this is acceptable. I'm so behavior. sorry. It was just set up. It was just set up there. And I, it was just set up and I had to just go. Well, I'm going to find a fucking yeah, you find Danish him. man then. That's See fine. how you like that. They're not actually that attractive. Well, I've heard. I've heard other. I've been there and I've seen him. And I yeah, thought, you yeah, you're right. Day. I was there for two days. Oh. Actually. Well, yes. I'm going to try Copenhagen because it's close. Like, I think it's only an hour and a half on the flight. And if I like it, you know, I, I do feel a bit scared. Like, the fact that I'm going to be on a plane by myself. <laughs> I might have to drug. Um, what? I might have to drug myself. But then again, what if the plane crashed and then I was drugged up and then I can't move? That scares me more. So I think I'm just going yeah, to have to breathe through they the anxiety. Yeah, they do say that the Scandi airplanes always crash. What? Yeah. Shut up. I'm flying with uh, Norwegian Air. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, I'll be careful if I were you. I hope not. Stop it. Anyway. Stop, James. Seriously. Seriously, you fucking bitch. You know that this keeps me up at night. You like to trigger. You actually like to trigger me. It's really annoying. Like, for example, before I go to bed, I like to try and be as calm as possible. What does James do? He scares me. Like, every five minutes, he goes, get your cortisol up. Get your cortisol up. I'm like, you prick. No, because you go... I go, Rah! and you go, oh no, my cortisol's up. <laughs> I'm now going to get anxious. So now I just shake So now her. you actually do it on purpose. Yeah, I shake her and I go, and I overwhelm her at the same time. And I'm shouting her ear, get your cortisol up, get your cortisol up. <laughs> and I'm jabbing into her fucking belly, like here, at uh, pressure points. She's like, oh, oh. Like, get your cortisol up. Get your... And then she can't sleep, and I'll sleep. <laughs> Why do you, do you I'm know how bored. evil it is? Yeah, I'm bored. That's so evil. I know it's evil. Evil can evil. I know. I'm actually kind of excited to have three days of peace. So am I. You're telling me you can make Three days what? of sleep. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. No one to get that cortisol level up. Oh, guys, this room's getting bad again. There's definitely mould behind this, like, even more now. I feel like it's spread. Yep. It's getting bad. But I want to wipe the slate clean. Uh-huh. I feel like we've Say gone... something nice to me. Your pussies were lovely, bruv. Your big old juicy titties. That was pussies. your chance to redeem yourself. You have the most voluptuous heart. <laughs> no, seriously. What are some qualities you like about me? I like how you're driven. Uh-huh. You won't let anybody stop you. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yes. I hope this is meant to be nice. Sorry. It is nice. It's a blessing and a curse that I'm driven. Yeah. Why is it a blessing no, and no, a no. curse? Because it, it makes you sometimes a bit stubborn. In what way? 
but maybe some people go, oh, you should try this. And you're like, no, I'm doing it my way. And I think I respect that. I respect that you do it your way. Do you know what I mean? Even if sometimes other ways are better, you're like, nah, I'm going to trust myself and back myself and you do it your way. With what? Just An things example. in life. Just like traveling or whatever. Oh, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Or like whatever. You're just like, oh, if I'm doing it, I'm fucking doing it. And then you just do it. Even if mm-hmm. it's not the smartest way, you mm-hmm. just do it, right? And I respect that. Second of all, nice ass. That is a great quality I like about you. James! It's true! If that's the only thing you like about me... It's not the only thing I like about you. You put me on the spot a little bit, because I'm trying to blame... You should know at the top of your fucking head. I'm blowing my nose, and my glasses got fingerprints all over it. No, you should know straight away what's going on, what you like about me. (laughs) I should... You should... Here's one. I I love... I love that you're just quirky, funny girl. Okay. You are. I like how you could just get up and dance with me... (laughs) <laughs> or you just, or like, I actually like it when you get annoyed at me sometimes, because it's funny, and I just find that you're a good sport. <laughs> okay? okay, it's easy to annoy you. You don't actually like care that much. Yeah, so, so you're a good sport. Thirdly, I like that you're spontaneous. I want to do a lot of things because sometimes I don't want to do it and it gets me out of the house. So it's very nice. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of like every time I go out with you. So like, oh yeah, it's actually is good. <laughs> yeah, like oh, getting out, outside leaving yeah, the house yeah when, oh. yeah when we go out like to like the little pub outside I'm like oh actually this is actually quite nice yeah <laughs> I actually kind of like this I don't know you just get me out you start pushing me a bit more yeah I know I like how you support me oh thank you and you've looked after me and also like for us I think something that we did that's spontaneous which I'm glad we did is when we went to Thailand and Bali I feel like that's an example of me kind of like pushing you to do something no, I wasn't going to do it anyway. Hmm? I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, I know, but that time of life. Yeah, that was a tough time. Do you know what I mean? It was probably like, you personally probably wouldn't have like gone. Yeah. But I was like, no, we've got to go. No, I know, you did it. You helped out massively that. You did. And now we're going again. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm so excited to um go to the north of Thailand. Like, It's going to be sick. It's going to be so good. And you can see elephants. I know. And you're going to be going as a whole new different person. I know. Because when you fly on that plane, you're not going to have any of that problems. Why? Because you're getting your tooth removed. <gasps> yes! Oh my God, yes! Because guys, I don't know if you know this, but if you ever get really bad head pain head pain on a flight, it's to do with your teeth, right? Sinus um, and teeth. Your, yeah. So it kind of just means that you probably need to go to the dentist because you might need a filling or have a tooth removed like me. But oh my God, thank God! Yeah, so tomorrow... You're getting your wisdom tooth removed. I know, guys. I'm so nervous. Like, that is, like, one of my biggest fears is getting a tooth removed because I've never had to do that. And not only is it a tooth, it's a wisdom tooth. And apparently... Oh, I I actually can't think about it. What creeps me out is... It's not the pain. It's the... Although I'll have an injection and I won't feel it, it's the wiggling around. It's the feeling it come out. You'll see it come out of your mouth as well. No, I won't. It is. (laughs) No, stop it, stop it. You'll, you'll see it. But and it'll be huge as well, because it's like a big... I room. know, but I'm getting mixed reviews, because Melissa told me that she had hers taken out, and she didn't feel anything, not even movement. That She asked the guy, okay, when are you taking it out? And he said, I've already taken it out. Um, but then you have other people saying that it hurts, like, really bad. I feel like you're going to have... You'll be fine. I hope so. You'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. I'm so scared, guys. Have like, you ever had I'm a tooth removed before? No, that's what I just said. That's why I'm so scared. Like I'm, actu- I'm actually petrified. Um, just make sure I you get a lot of injections in. Huh? Make sure you inject a lot. Yeah, I know. I hope so. And don't eat any silly foods today. They can get stuck in your teeth. Oh, yeah, like popcorn or something. Yeah. Or like just like sugary foods. Yeah. Just try, try and eat clean today. Brush your teeth. <laughs> I brush my teeth every day, thank you. Oh no, I'm just making sure you do it again. Anyway, guys, that is the update of our life at the moment. We've been waffling. Sorry, guys. Um, But today's episode, we are going to be discussing some conspiracy theories. Oh yeah, it was a big big request. I asked you guys on Instagram, what would you guys want us to talk about? And literally every single one was conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. We haven't done one in fucking yonks. Yeah. Ages ago. Ages ago. When we had like a different set. Whole different set. So we haven't actually done one since what? August yeah. before then. Nearly a whole year, bro. Mm-hmm. That's actually crazy to think about that. Yeah, the fuck? That's fucking grim. Yeah, it is grim. Also, guys, when we move out, this whole set will never be a thing again, just so you know. We've got some conspiracy theories, but I also asked you guys what conspiracy theories that you kind of like 
are interested in, you know, spark some some creative thought because it's actually quite difficult to look up some conspiracy theories online because you just get a load of shit and a lot of fake ones for like AI ones, and bullshit. But this one's really funny. I'm getting comfortable for this. <clears throat> I read this, so this made me, made me laugh a lot. That the UK will be under the sea by 2059 BC because of the climate change. 2059 BC. Yeah, brother, we'll go back in time. Before yeah. Christ. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> like, oh no, BC is because. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're the dumpster uh, uh, <laughs> Tuesday, mate. When you wake up next to him in the middle of the night, with your hand in a hair, you're nothing well, more than his wife. Ready? Yeah. We're going to go a bit light on the first conspiracy theory. Dragons. Dragons and ghoul and, and pots and magic potions. It's about, uh, can I uh, drag these nuts in your mouth? Okay, that was a really bad joke. That was, just... that was really so, not funny. Like, <laughs> in the same time period, in China and South America, even Africa and Rome, there are these pictures depicting people fighting dragons. Like, <gasps> obviously, you've seen in, like, I don't know, medieval fucking paintings that be night yep. slaying dragons yeah. and shit. Right. They say that obviously dinosaurs were just large birds. So like the, the closest descendant to dinosaurs we have are birds. Yeah. And they say that dinosaurs were real, obviously, and that the closest relative is birds. But the problem is with birds and their bones, they're very porous. So they're quite brittle. So right. they don't fossilize very well. So you don't have many it's hard for those bones to stay fossilized. They just kind of deteriorate into the ground. So not a lot of evidence. Not a lot of evidence. And they believe that dragons are just large lizards or flying lizards oh, that we have fuck. that we have now. Or or even birds. Like but they also have porous bones. Mm. There is a theory that because dragons are what they call maybe a smart creature, just like humans and other birds, that sometimes they know when they're going to die. Mm. That they would fly themselves out to sea oh. just to just die. The fuck? Because like some animals obviously do that. Dogs, you know, they... Oh, yeah, don't think about it. They yeah. burrow into like the ground and mm. they like kind of dig their own grave. This is that dragons have obviously just flown into the sea and just died and obviously become extinct and whatever. How crazy is that? So Shrek is re- real. I don't know if an ogre is real or a talking yeah, uh, donkey. The plot, the plot of Shrek is real. I don't think so. Like the dragon in the in the tower. I don't think drag, dragons and donkeys can have sex and have a million donkey dragon babies. Anything is possible. I actually do believe the idea that dragons could be real. Or could have been. So what? They spit fire and all. I don't fucking know. I wasn't there. So, yeah, but is that what they're saying? In this? No, that's not what they didn't say. They just oh. said that. They're so, dragons just... exist, but the fire is probably just made up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking no. Also, dragons aren't definitely real. <laughs> dragons are real, but the fire's made up. <laughs> uh, it'd be great. I reckon they are, because I'm not being funny. You see Japan, you see China, you see loads of places in Asia. There's fucking dragons everywhere. You can't just make that up. It's got to come from somewhere. Okay, but also like Superman, he's made up, right? Where did he come from? Yeah, but it's part of their like culture and everything. Okay, Jesus was a magician. Where did he come <sighs> Let's from? Let's not get aimed to this. No, but I'm just saying, like, if you, if you really deep these things, I'm just saying that in my head, I agree with you. Everything has to come from yeah. the mind and everything has to be come from something that they've seen. How does the how does the first ever person to draw or create the dragon be like, come up with that without seeing a dragon first? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so, um, on the topic of Jesus, do you want to talk about your G- Jesus conspiracy theory that you told me the other day that stems from magicians? Okay. Because it's actually quite interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with this. I'm a man of religion sometimes when I want like Christmas and Easter I'm well up for religion other the times I don't really care but <laughs> religion yeah is, is also a big part of my childhood but a big part of me now is my new friend Theo that was weird um. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really good magician and we were just talking about like magic and shit and he was doing some magic tricks and like, I don't know how we got onto it but we were talking about Jesus and he was like 
he was, I think he was telling me how mediums work and how the fact that mediums are all just magicians, basically. And that when they like, they try and, what they call it's cold reading. They can like tell you, they could like kind of direct you into think in a certain way or they can cold read, read you or hot read you, which basically means a cold read means that they're getting in the right direction but not getting a hit. So like if I go, your name, his name begins with a with a D, and you go, yeah, well that's kind of like a or a no. Okay, it's not a D. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's like a cold hit. Okay, okay. It's not a D. So it's oh, it is a D. That's a hot hit. You know what I mean? You really care. There's a fucking fly coming out to get me. That's the premise of it. And he was telling me how like Jesus was just a magician back in the day because it's one of the oldest work forms there is. To date, so magicians have been around for years and years, thousands and thousands. That's crazy. Of years. So they're probably thinking that you know Jesus was some mad cunt, but it was just dynamo back in the day. You know what I mean, he was just doing like he was, he was just doing, he was just doing one of these. He just did this. Well, they Whoa! Say, <laughs> well, they say he turned water to wine. Yeah, man, we got that. Juice. Could be a really good magician. Oh, trick. all it is is just some dye, maybe. I don't know. Or. I, c- I don't know. I wasn't there, but do they have dye back in the day? I don't know. Anything could be turned into dye. Blood. It could be blood. Oh! Could have slit his fucking hand and. Do you know what I mean? It could have been literally, genuinely, it could have been anything. But the other question is, how did that man, if he was a magician, turn into a whole fucking religion? Yeah. That's crazy. One guy did one magic trick, and literally he didn't realize. He probably thought he was doing it as a little joke. He's like, oh, I'll fuck around for a bit. I'll walk on water. Oh, got stilts, yeah. He's like, I'll walk on water. Let's see you know, bro's been dead for thousands and thousands of years, but he's literally got a whole, like, multiple churches, millions of people That's celebrating nice. him and like worship this guy. Bro, I, I down. get what you're saying because it does make you think when you find out being a magician is like the oldest like yeah. job ever, and you know I can see why people would believe that, but yeah, I still believe in Jesus. They do say though that. People were really desperate back in those times and were looking for anything and, you know, as an entertainer, mm. he might have capitalised on that and really, you know, got people to follow him. Bro, basically, what he did was he got viral, <laughs> got, a social, got a social media following before social media, aka the disciples, <laughs> and was pretty famous around town. Somebody yeah. went, oh, I love that. I'm going to write a fan book about him called The Bible. And it fucking blew up. <laughs> and now here we are. It's a weird thing to think about. Comment down below, guys, if you believe this. I'm but not trying to shit on religion. I'm, yeah, but it's, it's just a just, thought. It's a conspiracy theory. It's not saying we believe it, because I personally don't. But I can see why someone would believe it. And it is tr- interesting hearing that, like, you know, your friend's a magician. He, he, like, doesn't believe mediums exist. But, you know, I go to mediums all the time. It makes me feel good. But when you hear, like, his reasoning for it, it does make you think, okay, yeah, maybe... Well, it's not true. his reasoning. It's fact. Yeah. Like, he... Yeah, but oh, there right. are mediums that generally know things, and you're like, how the fuck? But he do you knows know? everything about me. My mate literally fuck, that's so guessed true. my fucking p- phone passcode. Oh he, my ge- God, he guessed that's the so fact true. that I said Brother Fordium in this random Wikipedia page. He also fucking guessed that um, my my childhood friend's name from back what ten years ago. I never even mentioned it once. Oh he my fucking God, knows that's everything, so bro. True, yeah. So he technically could say you, he's you a guess, medium, yeah. and then find. I don't know how they do it, but just instead of like playing games, like, oh, let me guess a word in your head, he could be like, okay. He could definitely tell you something about yourself, like a fact that you want to know. Yeah. Like, say if you're grieving and you want to hear something like, oh, your family member is... He will know your dad's name. No. He will know your dad's name. No. He would. Shall we try it? Yeah, that we'll would try actually it. be we'll nuts. Get him, he really wants to come on the podcast. So we'll get him on the podcast. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll get him to guess your dad's name. Yeah, but what if it's somewhere on social media that he could like, he figure it out? There's no, I don't even know what. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's not. Okay. It's not accessible. Yeah. <gasps> but I reckon, any is he in the room with us? I reckon he will do all that shit. He will yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Wait, it's actually a scam, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's so peak. But again, I think with mediums, if it is the fact that you, you know it helps you cope, then go for it. But also, I do, maybe I'm just naive, but I do believe that there are people that are me- actual mediums. Yeah, but maybe there are, maybe one or two actual mediums, but like most of them are just doing Fucking what he does. Fucking lies, yeah. So, you know. Wow. But he ain't no Britain's got talent finalists for nothing, bro. Yeah. Right, here's the next conspiracy. I realise this podcast is, we're nearly an hour and we've done one conspiracy. <laughs> so I want to apologise, but it's going to be a good episode. Right, here's one for you. A water tower 
car. Right, so you know with cars, you've got fucking petrol, you've got diesel, you've got electric, you might have a bit yeah. of hydrogen in there. Yeah. But we've got our first ever water-powered car, mm-hmm. right? Which is huge. What, really? Stanley Allen Mayer invented a car that could travel 180 kilometres on one gallon of water. Fuck off. Which is completely life-changing. His invention would change the world, basically. Yeah. People went over to see this amazing invention, and on March 21st, 1998, this took a turn as him and his brother went out to a restaurant with some investors and had a cranberry juice. He took one sip, ran out into the parking lot, screaming, they poisoned me, they poisoned me, I'm dying. He died very shortly <gasps> after. People believe that it was the oil and gas companies that killed him off. Yeah. However, it said that his death was of natural causes. So... No, I don't know. no, that makes sense because if it if, if that was possible, yeah, the, the the company don't need oil or yeah. Well, you wouldn't need oil still, but you wouldn't need it as much as you know. Cost petrol is yeah, expensive. they would lose so much money. But you know, the gallon of water is nothing. Yeah, it's literally nothing. Wow, you got one hundred and eight kilometers. That's just like a, that's like a full tank. Wait, did no one else know his like? No, they just burnt it. <gasps> just, do it just destroyed it. Maybe it's out there somewhere. But but then we could be living such a healthier. D- the government life. don't want us to live yeah, a good don't. life. A good life is cheap. <gasps> they want us to spend load of money. Yeah, yeah. They like literally like everything the government does. You, you I've seen people like, oh, we got a cure for cancer. <laughs> dead. Mm, dead. They don't want yeah, you, you hear to have about a cure, that all yeah. the time. They don't want to hear. They, they want anyone to have a cure. They want people to have a cure when it's like, especially in America, they're the yeah. worst for it. America is so bad. Yeah, it's so corrupt. The healthcare system is fucked. And all the chemicals in their food. They want you ill. So it's scary. Expensive to be. Well, get, basically, insurance is so expensive. Because it'll be the exact same food that we have in, like, Tesco or whatever, and you look on the back, and they've got, like, thousands of chemicals, and then we've only got, like, a couple things in there. They have, like, what, E40 or E20? Like, like, red, like the worst type of, like, red mm. colouring, food colouring. It's ever. such a shame, because America is so beautiful, and you love it there, and I it's just, it. like, I love it too. It is so nice, but... I don't think I could live there because oh. one of the the shooting and also the food like the fuck unless you have your own little farm. No, but food is expensive. Like I don't know if you've been to, uh, seen places like I don't know Max Blake Day went to this really high high end supermarket. What Air One? Uh, yeah, whatever. But there's places like that. Uh, there's expensive mm. grocery stores in America yeah. where they're less toxic. Yeah. But food's just so expensive. Yeah, but fast food is so cheap. That's the point. They yeah. want the, the the reason is this is a whole other conspiracy. But they want you. It's not even a conspiracy. It's fat. They want yeah. you to get fat and be unhealthy and struggle and mm. need insurance mm. because that's where all the money is in America. Do you know what I mean? But back to the car thing. <laughs> I don't know if that was real and it is real because it was based. Well, the conspiracy is that did he get killed off? A hundred percent. Because he didn't make that car. Yeah. And that's insane. The fact that he was the only one who knew how to well, do it. Well, he probably should have kept that a bit quiet. But I don't know. You probably just think maybe I'm going to get so much love. Yeah, but you're just not though, are you? No, because it's weird when people like just I don't know they've they're in they're a massive criminal and then they just die. Yeah. Or like there's a big allegation and they just die. Yeah. It's like oh I don't know uh, about that. Yeah. And how has nobody questioned this shit? Do you know what I mean? It's just so odd. It's so odd. That's really scary. I Good know. thing I'm not smart and I wouldn't even be in a position like that. But. <laughs> Here's one. The Grand Canyon. Mm. Conspiracy about the I Grand really want to go there. Oh, apparently, here's another one though. People go there and fall off the edge of the Grand Canyon because their, their eyes can't actually Fuck. comprehend that this is the Grand Canyon and it looks like a picture. Fuck they don't off. know where the edge is. They just walk off. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Is it not all like barricaded or anything? Not all of it. It's a huge, huge, huge canyon. Fuck. That's but people so just scary. fall off. They just, just walk off so the edge. I bet so many people die there. Look up how many people die at the Grand Canyon a year. Over nine, uh, uh, 12 deaths per year. Shit. I don't I, know. I know it, that's not a lot Ten in the grand scheme of things, but it actually is. It's not, though. With five million people, five million visits per year. Wow. Only 12 deaths per year. Still, though, 12 people. Now, just not... Yeah, but like the f- the floor could just cave in. Oh, you know, right, a bit of rubble, yeah. you could trip. It's probably the people that go proper in really, it. Really, in it, yeah. yeah. So, the Grand Canyon. It was used to mine gold, but the conspiracy theory is 
that they found so much gold that it would have crashed the gold market completely. And there is 90% of the caves in the Grand Canyon are not explored. Right. Well, they're not explored by the public, but they've been explored by the US military. Mm. So that's a bit weird why the military is, you know, exploring it and not yeah. just the public. And Kind of like mili- Area 51. Yeah, why is the military involved here? Why is it not just like, I don't know, fucking... Exactly. For forest watchers or some shit. Why is yeah. it the military? You know what I mean? Um, Seth Tanner, he was exploring the caves one day and he entered one of the caves and specifically had Egyptian hieroglyphics in it mm-hmm. and mummies. But the government and the community discredited this guy. Oh, right. But then a more credited guy comes in and sees the exact same thing. Oh, okay. People believe that's where the lost city of El Dorado is. Like in Outer Banks. Where all the gold is, and here's one for you, every single US president has tried to mine in the Grand Canyon, but they've always been denied. What, they can be denied? Yeah, the US US Army, like, no, mate, you can't do that, sorry. Oh, shit, really? Oh, there's definitely some some stuff in there. There is something. There's either so much gold, or there's some sort of, I don't know, there's ability to build a weapon or something bro i don't know but in the, in the grand canyon is in it like grand canyon's fucking huge but like what so there's like you can like walk into it and be like yeah kind of like a like a pyramid well no it's it's you know what the grand canyon looks like right yeah you can get to the bottom of it and there'll it's be like proper orange and just you, stones. Yeah, but there'll be little ca- caves underneath. Or oh, like that you can actually go into. into. Well, wow. you can't. We're not allowed, but you used to. Wow. Don't forget, back in the day, nothing was real. There was no regulations. No, yeah. It was of just course. a Grand Canyon. Yeah. So you could just go and explore. That's crazy. So, like, so people, people would, would have found gold. so much shit. Wow. Mm. Do you think people ever found gold and then just took it back home or something? Yes. Yeah. And they, they say that there's only enough gold in the world to fill up a room if it's all melted down that's why gold never loses its value but yeah. I do feel there's more gold out there oh definitely but yeah. how is gold even made like what even is it's a gold metal. it's a metal it's like a compound been found in the earth it's wow. not made it's like but it's why did we then think this is worth it like this is where the money's at in gold like why is gold such a cool thing do you well, know what I mean that is something out of my calibre bro why yeah. do you think people like slip back hair because it's convenient Gold's probably like, oh yeah, it's convenient to make soft metal. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Because you get like necklaces and stuff. No, it, well, yeah, but it's also, I think it was just a back in the day, a sign of like bougie. wealth. Yeah, I guess. And they just went, oh, let's just run it. And everything was exchanged via gold. And that's yeah. why the market just stays strong. And then now you've got the pounds against the gold and you've got the fucking euros against the gold and everything's against the gold. Wow. Do you know what I mean? That's interesting. I would love to go to the Grand Canyon. I am scared of it though. I would but love it'd be to nice go. to see it. Do a little road trip to but the What Grand annoys Canyon. me is that I wish I was born like maybe 40 years ago or Why? even before then where I could have driven there and just explored it for what I want to camp. Yeah, but you might get stuck. You can't camp there. Well, not in it. You know what I mean? Like when there was no rules or regulations, you yeah. just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It would be really cool. When to you're see. seeing, but without it being really like that touristy, you know what I mean? Mm. Just, oh man, life would have been good back then. But I do believe there is a lost city in there. We've got to go explore it. We're not allowed. We can get in there. Well, because we're influencers. <laughs> Sorry, uh, actually, combined uh, following is like 1.5 mil. <laughs> so everybody back the fuck up. Let me in here, please. That's what Bevo would do. Yeah. It's conspiracy. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Do you know I'm Bevo. <laughs> I'll swallow this Grand Canyon hole. <laughs> Fuck you. I've got another conspiracy theory. Okay. Man of many conspiracies. Maybe good, maybe shit. What's your favourite movie of all time? Childhood movie. Harry Potter. This will make you sad. Why? It's about Harry Potter. And it's not a nice one. What are you going to tell me? So obviously you know that Harry Potter is a wizard. He got whisked away from the Dudleys. And you know, became the chosen one. for off Voldemort. Boom. Now that happened. Yeah, it did. No. He was, he stayed at the Dudleys. Got locked up in that cupboard. Became malnourished. Got abused. Never left. Yes, he did. They say that the Dudleys kept him in that underneath the stairs, locked him up, 
barely fed him, open it up to feed him, maybe abuse him, beat him up, do all, all sorts. And it was actually his brain tricking him and putting him in a safe space in his mind. No! Where the reality is he's actually getting beaten up. No! No. The theory as... That's just shit. That Hagrid was actually Mr. Dudley. But it was his brain saying, you know, look, this is a bigger... Big man. Big, bigger man who's here to protect you from Mr. Dudley. He's going to whisk you away. Mr. Dudley can't do anything because you're a giant. You can't be a giant. Uh Uh-huh. You know? And then he, you know, gets whisked away. But he was actually looking at Mr. Dudley and... Kicking the door down. No! No, stop it now. That's not okay. Stairs, yeah. Boom. And where's this conspiracy come from? Do a lot of people believe this? Uh, there's been mixed emotions, you know. So I wouldn't say it's the most creditable. Probably some guy on AI or something, but <laughs> you know, I, I found it interesting. I thought I'd share it. Yeah, but I don't want to believe that because it sounds too real. Do you know what I mean? Like that would actually make sense. That's just got rid of all the magic now. Well, actually, it's kind of sweet in a weird way that maybe you know that's what you know. If you look at him, you know, oh, at least Harry had a good time with his mind. Well, yeah, about like eight movies worth. Yeah, I made a lot of money. <laughs> but also, deep it, if it was just a positive thing, then why were there negatives in the in the series? Like, do you know what I mean? In his mind. You know, right. Surely it should just been yeah, a positive experience. Yeah. Well, why I was a man trying to kill him and to kill his mum and dad? Sometimes the negativity, you know. Maybe, maybe, that's, maybe Voldemort was Dudley. Mr. Dudley. Yes. Just trying to fight him back. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, well, that's sad. Hmm. I do love Harry Potter. We should rewatch it again. We should actually. I think it's get to the time. Well, maybe October it's time. It's summer time, mate. October it's time. I just said. I just said October time. <laughs> you said, oh yeah, it's getting to that time. It's getting to that time. Bruv, it's June. It's the shittest summer ever. <laughs> yeah, wettest season. It's the wettest, wettest, wettest wet. summer we've ever had. We're not even talking about Nyash either. We're not even talking about fucking pause here. We're talking about just the weather. Yeah. Yeah. Another conspiracy theory for you. <laughs> Give me another. This conspiracy theory is more real than most. Okay. It's one of those ones that it's like, it's conspiracy theory, but it could be so true. Oh, fuck. Okay, what? So do you know how people tag sharks or tag fish to track them? No, but okay. So people, you know, what they call them, zoologists and marine biologists, they tag animals and they track their patterns, where they swim, where they, you know, that's how they know where sharks go. They get them, they trap them, tag them in their fin, and they swim off, and then they go, right, so these types of sharks, they swim in this location, they do this pattern, and this time of the year they do X, Y, Z. Oh. But they saw this one shark. Oh, God, yeah. Go. I just got a shiver. From the sea level all the way down to 2,000 feet. And they thought, hmm, that a shark should not of that shark, not that specific shark, shouldn't be able to do that. That doesn't seem right. You know, they went, do you know what? The shark's probably just got eaten or died and it f- went down to the bottom. But then why? Why is the tag still working and moving at the mm. bottom of the ocean? And why is the tag saying it's 75 degrees? So what people have thought, and marine biologists have thought, well, the shark was eaten, yeah. Dragged down to the bottom and swallowed by something massive. Oh, like a whale or something? No, it can't be a whale and it can't be a shark. It can't be anything that they know. Because <sighs> no whale and no shark has a belly that warm of 75 degrees. Do they think it's a megalodon? They think it's either a gigantic squid. Uh, or even a creature that hasn't been known. What is yet. eating a whole, whole shark. shark? But its belly is 80 degrees hot. Wow. No shark has a bay at 80 degrees hot because otherwise you would be hot to touch. The yeah, giant yeah. is not. What is it? Because our internal temperature is 34. It's yeah. like, you triple our internal temperature. Te- yeah, it's crazy. We don't know what it is. But there is a gigantic... This is why I don't like the ocean. It's so terrifying. There's a gigantic species underneath about 2,000 feet down. It's not even that far. A quick, easy swim up for them. No, surely not. Quick, it's like, well... We're talking. We're talking of the kraken, maybe. This is why I swim at the beach. Yeah, I paddle. You know, I only go up to like here, uh, uh, where I can touch the ground. If I can't touch the ground, no, no, thank you. It's like when you go on holiday when you're in Thailand and they go, "Oh, do you want to go snorkeling?" Absolutely fucking no, not. I want to go snorkeling either. Did. I'll go snorkeling. 
What did I say? Oh, we were snorking. <laughs> um, never did I say that. snorking? <laughs> Snorkeling, then. Or like diving or... Yeah, scuba diving or whatever they do in Egypt or well, something. Well, when I went snorkeling in Thailand, I was on my own because none of the girls wanted to come because they were porsies, yeah. And I was swimming, swimming. And I was on my own. Yeah. Really far away from the boat. And, and I got to a leg. point where I couldn't breathe and my, my scuba goggles were fogged up. So I did that thing where you take them off, dip them into the water. And as I did that, I saw it touch my foot. Uh. And I went, holy shit. And I'm not scared of the sea. But that did sh- send a shiver up my ass. Well, yeah, they did. They do say sharks are in there. No, they just say it's a shark area. And I looked down and it was just oh. all dead coral. And I thought, I could slice my whole foot open. Yeah. But grey coral. Oh, it looked what really were you scary. doing, you silly and I looked boy. down and it was just, I'm talking like the whole, everything I could see. And do you know what that would coral. have caught if you started bleeding? Sharks, because they like blood. They do. They would have come for you and gobbled you whole. And you would have watched your Boyfriend only get love eaten. of your life. Don't do that. That's a bit like freaky. Ah, James, James, that's not right. That's not right. I feel like that's a bit disrespectful to me and her. She likes it. <laughs> she's giving me eye contact right now. Yeah. She's saying, "Help me." No, she's going. This is my man. <laughs> <laughs> ma, 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 me. Right, I've got another, another conspiracy. Is this the last one? Yeah, it's a different one. Because I'm hungry and I want my tuna cold. Over. It's called the well. The well. The well. So this man in America, I think it was North California, somewhere in the north of America. A man purchased a bit of land, a lot of land actually, and he noticed that there was this gigantic hole in his land. A fucking massive hole. What, like a... Like, like a big crater, basically. But like, you can't see the the bottom of it, or... Can't oh, see the bottom of it, fuck right? No, fuck right. that, fuck that. Check this out. The man goes, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see what you know where the bottom is. Yeah. He throws down this fishing line, which is 150 feet. <laughs> Doesn't hit the bottom. He's like, oh, this, this, this crater in the ground, this hole in the ground is gonna be more than 150 feet. Wow. Tries 300 feet. <laughs> Doesn't hit the bottom. Oh, He's like, oh, that's weird. So do you know what he ends up doing? What? He ends up spending so much money and acquires 80,000 feet of fishing line do you know the deepest point ever recorded on the earth is the marina trench it's 36 000 feet oh really to the bottom the deepest part of the ocean is 36 000 feet and man bought eighty thousand feet worth of wire and it still didn't touch the no bottom. stop it no nope. that can't be real. Photos, real yeah he thought you know what i'm gonna ask my neighbors about this so he did he went to his neighbors and he go yeah actually uh, the previous owner, um, we just threw shit down there and it never got filled up. So, you know, he was a farm owner, so he just threw his dead cows down there. No! And I decided, you know, my dog passed away, so I threw my dead dog down there. So he threw, the neighbour threw the dead dog down there. Why would he the do The next that? morning, the dog was alive and on his porch. Right? Huh? Yeah. He went, I can't believe this. He said, this is full of shit. Let me ask another neighbour. Like, what? But the other neighbour went, yeah, there's been sightings for, for years ago that this random black beam of light would come from the bottom all the way and it would touch the sky. Sometimes at night. The fuck? The neighbours could just see this black beam. So the guy goes, right, fuck this. I'm going to gonna research about this. So he does. And they found that there was like these ancient stones placing the capilla around this hole. This hole's been there for thousands of years. How big is this hole? It must it, be huge if you're maybe the putting size a cow room. down there. No way. Just, what if you oh, accidentally fell in? Oh, yeah. He's put like little wires around it. But yeah, so, you know. And there's the ancient stones. So they say that this, this this hole is magic. And no, there's nothing they can do. They can't get a camera down there. There's no lights down there. It, it, just it is a ended. magic hole. Pretty much, But yeah. they put their de- dead dog in there and then... It was alive the next day on the porch. What the? And fuck? they threw dead cows in there. They threw rubbish. They threw what mud. What's all the dirt. cows started coming up? I, I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. Why is this making me scared? I it's don't like know. magic exists, and also fairies exist. 
I keep mm. seeing it on my TikTok. Yeah, but apparently is. they're not nice, and apparently you're not meant to say thank you to them because that means that they're uh, they then think that they're in debt to you, so then they'll follow you around and yeah. do things to you. So if you see a fairy and they let you cross a bridge, apparently you're meant to say, "Oh, that's very that's very kind of you." But you're not meant to say thank why you. Why would a fairy let me cross a bridge? I don't know if you're in some forest or something. Also, oh, if I'm in a forest, so I see it. But what do they look like? Are they tiny or are they big? Or Just they... little, like dark. Uh... So like like a moth. Kind of, yeah. You you scream. Of, you went, oh my god, with a, fairy, with a scream. face and a body. That is horrid. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Stop it! I'm scared. I'm scared. I love fairies and I love all that, but. That is scary. Yeah, that's really scary. Get your colours all up. Get your colours all up. Get your colours all up. Get your. See, James always comes at me and says that, or then he'll like tickle me and touch me like aggressively. So. <laughs> Get your colours so all up. The other day, I did Get it to you. Get your colours all up. Get it up. Get it up. Get anxious. Get anxious. Get anxious. Get anxious. Get anxious. Get anxious. Ow! I'm gonna eat your tuna card up. Ow! Ow! Guys, I'm bleeding. I am bleeding. Yeah, you deserve that. She's cut my skin. She's cut my skin. That was an accident. Ah, I'm ble- a chunk of my skin. Conspiracy theory, not conspiracy. Isabella's a bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh. vampire blood sucking, hungry, suck it. <laughs> ah, You're such a boy. Oh, uh. Way to go take it too far. Way to take... Well, good, I had you to know. get you off somehow. You wait uh, off cam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you like those conspiracy theories. Um, next time I see you, I'll be toothless. Not completely, just one tooth. Uh, next time you see me, I'll be 24. 24! Hopefully repaired finger. And hopefully... Turned into a frontal lobe developed man. 25 is about 25. Oh shit, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Egghead. Sorry. <sighs> Tic tac. Egghead. Tic tac. Egghead. Tic tac. Flat bottom, no booby bitch. Well, that's just not true, yeah, is it? That's so. not true. No, it's just... Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to review on Spotify, comment on the YouTube, the TikTok, all of that jazz, and we will see you next time for another episode. One second. If you made it this far. You think we should create a best friends who Discord server? Ooh, maybe. And then that's where you guys can give us, you know, your questions and your answers and stuff like that. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? <laughs> uh, I'm starving. I've I'm got to go. Got to See go you guys. later, guys. Bye. <laughs>